Hansel, wake up! This morning, like every other morning, Gretel jumped on her big brother's bed, trying everything to wake him. Five more minutes! Gretel finally pulled Hansel out of bed and they rushed outside. All day long, they played their favorite game, hide and seek. Bet you can't find me! Not fair! Not fair! Ah, oh, you found me! You're good at this. You're good at this. Hey Gretel, I dare you to go into the forest with me, Hansel said. No way, said Gretel. That girl with the red cape went in and never came out. Stop being a chicken, Hansel teased. Buck, buck, buck! The two ventured into the forest, making their trail with pebbles. To their surprise, the forest wasn't scary at all. They saw monkeys eating bananas, gophers digging holes, and frogs riveting on rocks. After a while, Hansel and Gretel ran out of pebbles. Should we go back? asked Gretel. Nah, you worry too much, said Hansel. Let's use crumbs from my sandwich instead. As night fell, the two began searching for their trail. They looked to the left, and they looked to the right, but the trail was gone. The children wandered the forest for hours. Then, through the trees, Gretel spotted a light. Excitedly, Gretel started climbing a tree to get a better look. As the children got closer, they couldn't believe their eyes. The light was coming from a house made of candy. Let's eat it all, Hansel said. Gretel reached for a giant gumdrop. Way ahead of you, bro. This is delicious. Yummy. This is delicious! Delicious. Suddenly, an old woman appeared from the house. Come in, children. I'm making birthday cake, the old lady smiled. Her grin was big and toothy. Once inside, the children knew it was a trap. The door slammed shut, and in a puff of smoke, the old woman showed her true self. 
An evil witch who eats children. <laughs> You're all mine now. The witch threw Hansel in a cage and fired up her cauldron. Five times a day, the witch pulled the lever, filling Hansel's cell with ice cream, cheeseburgers, pizza, and hot dogs. Ugh! No more food! I can't eat all this. I only eat organic. I only eat organic. And you, my dear, the witch said to Gretel, you will do all my chores until I eat you too. Gretel spent her days mopping the floor and scrubbing the witch's dirty feet. Mr. Spot. Ew! This is gross. Hansel got fatter, Gretel knew she had to save him. One night, Gretel snuck into the witch's room and dipped the witch's glasses in butter. When the witch woke up, she couldn't see Hansel at all. This has to work. Mm -hmm. I'll eat this that has boy. to work. <laughs> Without her sight, the witch began pinching Hansel's finger to see if he was fat enough to eat. Little did she know, Gretel had slipped her brother a chicken bone for the witch to feel instead of his fat finger. I'm here, boy. I hope this works. Gretel's plan worked. Until one day, the witch called out, Girl, start the oven. Tonight we're having little boy for supper. Lighting the oven, Gretel's mind raced for what to do next. Oh no, shouted Gretel. The fire went out. The witch rushed to the oven to see what was wrong. As the witch leaned in, Gretel gave the witch a mighty push, locking her in the oven forever. cheered from his cage. Gretel, I am so proud of you. You beat the witch all on your own. Gretel found the key and freed her brother from his cell. Oh, wrong key. You did it, sis. You did it, sis. Hansel and Gretel found a map of the forest. Look at this, Gretel said. Getting home should be a piece of cake. Hansel groaned. I never want to see cake again. Check it out! Following the trail, Hansel and Gretel set off for home. When Hansel and Gretel got home, their parents gave them big hugs and made them promise never to go into the forest again. And from that day forward, the children stayed far, far away from the forest. 